Have you ever been tagged on Facebook only to find out that it wasn't a very flattering photo? Well, right now, you or someone you know needs to identify, could identify you in those photos. But facial recognition has come to Facebook, and that means that your uh, face will be recognized by the system, and you'd be tagged automatically. Here to explain how this will affect you is the Vice President of Strategy and Innovation at Blue Sky Factory. This is Chris Penn. He's been with us before, and we're glad that he's back. Nice to see you. Good morning. So apparently this has been in effect here in the States. It's now gone worldwide, That's so people right. are getting very upset about this because right. more eyes are seeing it. That's and right. the bottom line here is that once you've been tagged, then the system just automatically recognizes you. That's right. You upload your photos and there you are. Now, it's been in effect for a while, but now that it's available to places like the EU where privacy laws are much right. stricter, there's been a lot more notice of it. Sure, absolutely. What do you think the fallout of this could be for Facebook when it's all said and done? It depends. I mean, Facebook itself will be fine. They'll adjust things as they go. For individuals, you know, and we're going to talk a little bit about this, how to protect yourself because, yeah, everyone has that college photo they prefer not to be right, seen and right. stuff like that. I keep thinking of the person who's somewhere they're not supposed to be and their photo is that, taken. That can happen And too, suddenly yes. uh, that pops up. Well, the bottom line here is that Facebook has implemented this and it is happening automatically. So you are responsible for going in and yes. turning it off. Yes. And you're going to show us how to do that. It's actually very easy to do. Okay. Um, so you go into Facebook, go into your privacy settings, and really simply, they give you a whole bunch of different options here. But start by saying things other people share about you. You want to say, okay, if you've tagged me in a photo already, let's just make sure that that's friends only. Right. And in fact, you know, if you have friends, like co-workers here at Fox 25, you can actually exclude some of them. Say, you know what, I don't want oh, some really? of my co-workers to see my boss to see my photos and stuff like that. That could, that could be okay. a fairly handy thing. Very good. Uh, hang on, here we go. Back. Can you get that for Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. No, oh, well, we went back a little in bit there, more. After you go in there, after you go to photos that you share, um, you're going to go say things that, you know, that people can recognize about me. And that's where the auto-tagging happens. Okay. It's a very simple box to find. Um, right here, you say, I, I want to turn off auto-tagging. I want to disable. I don't want people okay. to see me anymore. Um, your friends can still manually say, hey, this is a photo of Kim. And, you know, you can untag yourself from any photo. Sure. Say, you know, Absolutely. Like um, but this is very easy to do. And then what you want to do after that is... If you've ever played Farmville or any of the games on Facebook, mm -hmm. what you don't know, or what you should know, but you most likely don't, is that anytime you allow an app, it has access to your data and stuff. So it can be pulling your photos, it can be pulling your location. There's a setting right underneath there that says, okay, okay I, one want, down. Mm -hmm. yeah, I want to not let apps have access to stuff. And if you look at it, it's actually amazing what apps can have access to. Yeah. yeah. Photos you're in, videos you're in, where you are, like you were saying. All your in, notes. All your notes, your yeah. hometown places. <laughs> your, uh, I mean, someone can actually take a photo of someone they don't know and ultimately figure out exactly where they live if they were to keep this going. If, they, if, if this was all turned on, yes, absolutely. So this is a very s simple nine-step process. We have it on the web and it'll be on myfoxboston.com mm -hmm, and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take you know right. too long. The one thing I suggest is because Facebook changes its stuff so often. Um, maybe set a little calendar reminder. First of the month, just go in, check your settings. Sometimes they change. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. They, you know, they adjust themselves. Right, right. That is so so smart. That is a great idea because I think as Kyle was saying to me earlier, Facebook has a way of wanting to get information out. Yes. So they're not in the business so much of protecting your information. They want to see it get out there. It's your job to protect your information. Exactly right. Exactly. So Okay, it's at myfoxboston.com. All of these steps, it'll take you through it one by one. You might need it for yourself. You might need it for your teenager. Be sure that you check it out. Definitely share it with your kids. Yeah, Make sure absolutely. they know what they're sharing. You bet. Chris, great to see you like always. You too.